my friends! My name is Nina and welcome to my Bon Bonina channel. Right now it's a carnival week. Right now it's a Mardi Gras and we celebrate... Uh, I mentioned before in some of my video that we celebrate not Fat Tuesday, we celebrate Fat Week and we make crepes almost every day. Well, I do. <laughs> crepes, pancakes, all kind of uh, yummy things. Today I'm going, I want to show you how to make buckwheat crepes. Uh, this recipe doesn't have a lot of sugar so if you want to add sugar add more because these crepes you can eat savory as well as sweet so very easy but the buckwheat flour is the special ingredient so I am starting with my eggs I'm going to whip it till they're foamy now my eggs are nice and foamy and now I'm going to add milk and um, flour. Little bit of milk and little bit of flour and very cold water. So let's start. is nicely incorporated. Uh, the main reason why I'm doing this uh, technique like flour and milk and I'm doing it in my mixer, first of all I want my as much bubbles as, as many bubbles as I can get so my crepes are going to be all like see-through beautiful and another reason I don't want any flour in there. I want everything incorporated perfectly and so now I melted my uh, butter in microwave and I'm adding it to my butter. Butter to my butter. <laughs> it's ready, it's beautiful and now the fun part, we're actually going to make crepes. These buckwheat crepes, they're very popular in France, they call them galette. Uh, I think they make them probably a little different, they're more like uh, thicker, but still you can call them as any name you want. So this skillet is my favorite and it's special for making crepes. Uh, it's cast iron and it's for me it's best for crepes. Uh, because this is induction stove, my uh, skillet is gonna preheat really fast, but you do have to preheat your skillet before you start making. Before I start making first crepe, I'm going to add oil and then I won't probably need it, but we'll see, maybe I will add more. Okay, I have this avocado oils. Uh, it's better if you use uh, oil without any flavor. If you're adding butter, still add a little bit of oil, otherwise your butter is gonna burn. Just a little bit. And your skillet has to be really hot. So what I usually do to check if my skillet is ready or not, I just do a few drops of butter here. Yeah, and it looks like it's ready. So I'm making the first crab. Okay, so as you can see, here is almost dry. And now we'll see it's ready to be turned, so I am going to try to turn my crab. Yay! Success! And now we cook it on the other side. Okay, my first crab is ready and I'm taking it off. Beautiful thin crab. And I am repeating the process. Thank you. 
As you can see, it happens really fast and my second crepe is ready to be turned. Look how beautiful! Spends a couple of minutes, uh, probably two minutes on the second side, and it's ready to go. And another one. This skillet is a little heavy for me, so I'm not gonna flip my crepes today. Okay, my beautiful crepes are ready. I have to continue to make them on my stove because my little portable stove, it's too small, the surface is too small for my skillet. So my crepes are wasn't cooking, so I have to move it. So, but it's done. They beautiful look how thin they are look how beautiful you almost can read a book through this crap well almost okay and now I can I want to show you how do we serve our crepes with the savory appetizers because when they're seed you can add honey or jam or berries or maple syrup anything you like but the savory it's our favorite first of all we eat it with the smoked salmon first of all we eat it with the smoked salmon so I'm opening my crepe I put a piece of salmon inside, a little bit more, and I roll it like that. And it's ready to be served. Beautiful. You also can add a sour cream on the side, and while you're eating it, just dip it and enjoy very good very tasty it's not all this is we call it red caviar um, if you like sushi they call it ikura which means in Russian ikra I think uh, Japanese they took it from Russian word ikura so red caviar fish eggs whatever you want to call it it's also cured and salted and it's it's our it's delish what are we doing same thing we take sour cream we take caviar close it and enjoy and enjoy Oh my god! Mm. This is our traditional feast for the crab week, for the Mardi Gras. So now you know. <laughs> now you can try it and enjoy it. Okay? I hope you like this video. I hope you like this recipe. Put your thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, tell if, if you like this recipe tell your friends about me about this channel make this recipe and let me know in the comments How did it go and stay tuned for my next video?